You're listening to a Roddenberry podcast. Today's Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. It's Captain Picard Day! Uh, Yeah, it's Captain Picard Day, and this is your daily Star Trek news on Captain Picard Day from the Roddenberry Podcast Network. (laughs) On today's show, Kitty Swink, Armin Shimmerman, and Jonathan Frakes share their stories at the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network's Voices in Action event. Heritage Auctions is offering up Star Trek matte paintings next month. And I've got this week's Star Trek history. Uh, Sadly, it does not include Captain Picard Day. I'm sorry. I'm Allison Pitt, and today's show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month of counseling at betterhelp.com forward slash DSTN. On Monday, Star Trek actors Armin Shimmerman, Kitty Swink, and Jonathan Frakes hosted the Voices in Action inaugural event. Launching the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, or PANCANS, Action Week 2021. The virtual event was free to stream and it featured moving stories from families and individuals affected by pancreatic cancer, encouraging viewers to reach out to Congress for their support in researching the disease. Kitty Swink and her husband, Armin Shimmerman, opened the event with their story of Swink's pancreatic cancer diagnosis. Happily, she and her husband recently celebrated 17 years of Swink being cancer-free. Now the couple want to give back. Swink said during the event, As a survivor of pancreatic cancer, I feel it's my responsibility to advocate for all those who are fighting this disease, and all of those we've lost. The pair were followed by inspirational stories of hope and perseverance in the face of pancreatic cancer, told by those affected by the disease. That segment preceded a brief Q&A with Delaware Senator Chris Coons, an outspoken advocate for pancreatic cancer patients and families. Frakes joined the event later on, sharing a very personal story. 24 years ago, I lost my best friend, my brother Daniel, to this disease, he said. I personally understand the pain and the fear that a pancreatic cancer diagnosis brings on a family and their loved ones. That's why I'm standing here tonight. As a community, we are stronger together. No one should go through this alone. And while this disease is a terrible diagnosis, there is always hope, and we are making progress. Now, this isn't the first time Swink, Shimmerman, and Frakes have teamed up. The trio led the fundraising team Trek Against Pancreatic Cancer earlier this year during PanCan's Purple Stride Los Angeles virtual event. To find out more about how you can get involved with PanCan's Action Week 2021, And to see the full Voices in Action virtual event, you can visit pancan.org or check out PanCan's channel on YouTube. Heritage Auctions, which bills itself as the largest collectibles auctioneer in the world, has a number of Star Trek pieces for sale during its Entertainment and Music Memorabilia Signature Auction, which runs this July 16th through July 18th. Up for Bidding is a varied mix of scripts, costume pieces, screen-used props, and replicas, but the heart of this particular lot is Star Trek artwork. Two-thirds of the items for sale are pieces of art from both the franchise movies and TV shows, including concept art, costume sketches, animation cells from the original 1970s animated series, and screen-used matte paintings. The matte paintings are of particular note since it's an art form that has faded away in the era of CGI. Before otherworldly buildings and environments could be rendered digitally, artists would paint them on glass, leaving space for live-action elements to be optically blended into the scene. This particular heritage auction includes over 20 matte paintings from Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and Star Trek Voyager, along with two matte paintings depicting Yosemite from Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. If you'd like a more detailed analysis of some of the artwork for sale, you'll find a thorough review in a story published recently at thetrekcollective.com. Now, if artwork is not your collecting forte, you can pick up other items which you may find, to borrow a phrase, fascinating, (laughs) including a pair of screen-used Spock ears worn by Leonard Nimoy in the original series. You could also become the proud owner of original series scripts, a phaser from Star Trek Into Darkness, or even an Enterprise-D transporter room L-Cars panel transparency. But you'll need to get your credit cards ready. Early bidding starts at the end of this month, 
You can read more about this chance to own a piece of Star Trek history at the auction's homepage at ha.com. Now, in just a moment, I'll be taking you back in time to find out what happened this week in Star Trek history. But first, a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Do you need someone to talk to? BetterHelp can do that. Now, BetterHelp is not a crisis line, but they can get you set up with a licensed professional counselor in under 48 hours. Here's how it works. When I signed up with BetterHelp, I took a short survey so they could match me with someone, and then they matched me in just a couple of hours. Then it was just a day or two after that that we got to work. I want you to start living a happier life today, or in the next 48 hours. <laughs> and as a Daily Star Trek news listener, you can get 10% off your first month of counseling by visiting betterhelp.com forward slash DSTN. Join over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com forward slash DSTN. And now it's time for a look back into Star Trek history. It was today, June 16th, back in 1972, that Star Trek actor John Cho was born. Known to fans as Lieutenant Sulu in the 2009 Star Trek film and its two sequels, Cho is a prolific film and television actor who's well recognized for breaking barriers around Asian representation in Hollywood. With landmark starring roles in films such as Searching, Better Luck Tomorrow, and the Harold and Kumar series, Cho strives to confront stereotypes and bring to light the challenges faced by Asian actors and is a pioneering voice for Asian Americans in media. Please join me and the entire Daily Star Trek News team in wishing John Cho a very happy 49th birthday. And you can tune in again next Wednesday, of course, for more Star Trek history. Well, that's it for today's Daily Star Trek News from the Roddenberry Podcast Network. Don't forget to check out the other great shows on the network at podcasts.roddenberry.com. Daily Star Trek News is produced by me, Allison Pitt, and it's written by Chris Peterson and Jack Brown, with history by Ari Connery Singer. Today's show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month of counseling at betterhelp.com forward slash DSTN. I'm back tomorrow with more of the Star Trek news you need to know and the weekend's Star Trek events. I'm Allison Pitt. Live long and prosper. This is a Roddenberry podcast. For more great podcasts, visit podcast.roddenberry.com.